Let's talk about the teeter-totter principle. You know, when I was a kid, six years old, in a one-room country schoolhouse, we had a teeter-totter out back, which I enjoyed uh, playing on. And we had a guy a lot bigger than me that would always have to sit close to the middle of the teeter-totter while I sat way on the end so we could balance it moving up and down. Uh, a teeter-totter will never bend in the middle. One is always up, the other's down. It's kind of the same way with freedom and servitude. On one hand, uh, we, can, we can have freedom, and on the other hand, uh, people want government security. We're trying to balance what, uh, how much security we want and how much freedom we want. It's a balancing act. Uh, today, the government uh, is taking almost 50% of all the productivity of the American citizens. And uh, Ronald Reagan said, socialism only works in two places, heaven where they don't need it and hell where they, always, where they, where they already have it. And so we can't divide the wealth and create prosperity. It has never worked in history. And somehow through visionary narcissism, we have a lot of politicians who think that the reason socialism hasn't worked is because they haven't been the ones in power. If we're in power, we can make it work and we can decide what's fair for everybody. But you know, there's one word in the Constitution and Declaration of Independence or Bill of Rights, one word that you'll never find, the word fair. Life isn't fair. That's the first thing we teach our teenagers. Uh, you have to work for it. And uh, when you reap the rewards of your efforts, it creates an incentive to create prosperity. That's what made America the greatest land in the history of the world. And that's something to think about.